One company, one man, and one product. Apart, they are merely separate drops in a bucket. But together, they are part of a new dynamic group of individuals making a difference in how we get some of our favorite dairy products. If you talk to my wife, she'd tell you that I take better care of the cows than I do of her. Meet Jared Bordesa and Bob Carmazzi. They are the new generation of dairymen in California. Both are part of multi-generational farms on the north coast of California, and both supply one of the fastest growing dairy co-ops in the state, the Clover Stornetta Company. It all began in 1977 with five Clover dairy families partnering up with Al Stornetta and his bottling plant, thus creating Clover Stornetta. Today, the operation is still run by the same families, along with 21 family farms, including Bob and Jared's. They're really progressive and innovative. You couldn't find better people. Progressive, innovative, and yes, very successful. Glover Stornetta has helped their dairy farmers remain competitive thanks to a system they came up with called the North Coast Excellence Program. It certifies that all of their milk comes from humanely treated cows. All of which is making for some pretty happy farmers, customers, and yes, even happy cows. It's very important to us. It makes us feel good like we're doing a good thing at the end of the day, that we're a part of something that's that's really beneficial to our area in a lot of different ways. <laughs> oh, hey. Hi. What's your strongest smelling cheese? You know, in addition to producing all of that great milk, Clover is also committed to educating folks about where their milk actually comes from. And at events like this, they're able to reestablish that rare country to city connection. Well, today is actually the last of a seven-part series that we did with Whole Foods, and it's basically called the ABCs of Milk. No milk? We do sell milk. Anything cheese, else? Cheese, cheese. We've had so many kids ask their parents, Mom, can we take it home? Can we get a cow? I want a cow for Christmas. The parents, you know, it's pretty interesting. Sometimes I think we have a bigger impact on the parents than we do the kids. And that brings us to the last stop on this drive through dairy country and across the Bay Area, to a man that is not only delivering Clover's milk, but also a little piece of nostalgia each morning. Meet California's last milkman. You know, I always think, oh, it's Tuesday. And it's so personal and just, it's just really nice. Michael has about 200 customers. Half of them are businesses, half of them are residents, but all of them consider him more of a friend than a milkman. The fact that customers are trusting enough and have enough faith in me to give me a key to the store or a key to their house is, is an honor that very few people have a chance to experience. So up at Clover, I'm gonna be going to one of their ranches where the cows are and I'm gonna learn how to milk a cow for the first time. My hands may be too big. Yeah. Switch teats, guarding it, she's got her leg forward. Maybe I should try the other side. Okay, because I don't know how, okay. And how could I call myself a milkman if I don't know how to milk a cow? Okay, there's a little squirt. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now I'm gonna kind of get the feel of it. From cows to cartons to customers, it looks like great milk in California does indeed start with great cows and great people.